Hello everyone, NTDG here. Um, just want to do a little review today, something completely different from stuff I normally do. Uh, I just want to review this little uh, Death Note box set that I've, I've had for a while. I just never really recorded it or anything. Uh, as, you can, as you can see, it's a complete... Oh, let me open it up here. It has two Velcro things on top. As you can see, it's the complete set of uh, the Death Note series, the mangas. And it has 13. Number 13 is uh, it's called How to Read. It's uh, basically... Uh, summation of all of these 12 mangas, but in one, it's it's a little bit bigger. It, it's uh, I'd, I'd call it a large size manga because it's like half an inch to an inch longer and like taller than the other ones, and it's uh, it's a little bit thicker. But um, yeah, Death Note box set. As you can see, it has a cool little skull design on the front. It has the rules in a gray, kind of uh, really uh, op opaque font. Uh, it has uh, Shinigami on the side. It's Ram and another Shinigami. I don't know. That's uh, Ryuk and uh, Light. And this is... I forgot that guy's name. Uh, this guy right here. He has a bunch of jewels on his head. That is... Jealous. That's his name. This this little guy. I know his name. Uh, another Shinigami down here. It's a nice little panoramic box set. On top there is a little handle so you can carry it around. So it's definitely in the complete box set. Includes manga volumes 1 to 12, Death Note How to Read 13, and collectible How to Use booklet, which I will show you in a second. This, okay, again. I like how it looks on the. Oh, I like how it looks on the camera. It looks, uh, I like the different, uh, color ranges that the camera's picking. I haven't used it, like, with something this colorful before. But yes, let me take one of them out just to show you. Do, 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 do. Let me try to make it fall out. Yes, as you can see, regular, um, oh god. Oh god, focus. Okay. As you can see, the regular um, paperback manga. Uh, perfect quality. Well, perfect uh, condition because I... Getting blurry. Perfect condition because I try to keep... Uh, try to take really good care of my manga um, and books and such. And paperback, not hardcover. Still, it's perfect like uh, store quality too. Really good first issue. As with all the other ones, they're all perfect condition. Uh, because I treat them well. Get back in there, number one. Yeah, let me show you the, the little, uh, rules note collectible booklet thing. This is the Death Note How to Use It, uh, rule book. has all the different rules that appear in the manga, not in the actual Death Note itself, because you can buy collector's, uh, editions of the actual Death Note, like, notebook, and it has so many fucking rules. It has, like, twice as many rules as this. And this has, like, uh... 30, 40 pages of rules right here in, its, in and of itself, so there are a lot more rules that aren't in here. These are just ones that appear in the manga between the chapters. Death Note, how to use it, collectible booklet. Nice little booklet. Uh, it's a cool little thing. Let me show you the how, how to read. 13. Get out of there. There you go. Let me show you size comparison. Da -da -da -da. Come on. Let me just tip you out again, because you don't want to come out. Da, 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 da. Of course I chose the hardest one to take out of the fucking case. Okay, well anyway, yes. Here is a normal size manga, and this is 13. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm standing on the table right now, so it's not any kind of trickery. This one is just a little bigger. Uh, and a little thicker. Tiny bit thicker. I can, probably can't even tell. has a, uh, a little bit more pages. Backwards. Ah, uh, manga. Yes, so... Yes, if you're, uh, if you're a fan of Death Note, not just, like, one of those crazy Japanese, oh my god, I love everything Japanese fans. If you're an actual true fan of the series, like, personally, I was. I liked the series, and I really enjoyed it way before the anime came out over here, way before... I liked it, okay, let me just say this, I read it as soon as the first manga came out over here, so that was way long ago, it was like 2006, I think, um, 2006, 2007, that was a long time ago, um, now, I remember this one, I remember reading this one, and every single month I'd borrow them from friends, because I was too poor and didn't have a job to uh, buy myself, but now I have them on myself, and I really love them, uh, so yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, if you're a fan of Death Note, well, let me just, uh, I'm gonna hit cut right now, and I'm gonna cut back, and you'll, s I'm gonna display all the books so you can see how many books there actually are, how it looks, like, spatially, and how pretty they all are. And I'll be back in a second. As you can see, here are all of the issues, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13, and thing. And I love, I just love the artwork. Uh, first, I like the artwork in the books a lot, but I love the artwork of the covers so much more because it's so, I think it's the same artist, obviously, but he puts so much more detail into the into the covers than into the actual books. It's a, it's a manga, obviously. He's a, here's an overhead shot all of the beautiful color. He uses a lot of different, like, bright, vivid colors, and it's just, it's really cool. Uh, really gives a great look to the, just to the manga itself, and it gets you ready to read some awesome stories. Um, awesome characters, situations, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, pick, oh, something else I noticed also, I'm just put this on top of here. <laughs> in the back of the, uh, in the back of the box, there's this cool symbol, which is awesome. I, f I forgot where it's from. Uh, I know it's in the story somewhere, I think. Uh, God, it has something to do with Ryu. I think that's on, um, let me just check right now. It's not on his belt, but it's some, it's in, the, it's in a bunch of, like, the pages. Uh, I think it's on the rules pages a lot. Um, that symbol right there. Uh, it's a cool little skull symbol. But yeah, Death Note Collector's Edition box set. It's about 40 bucks. Well, I picked up for 40 bucks on eBay, thank God. I think it's like 80 bucks, uh, it's supposed to be in actuality, but I picked it up brand new for 40 So if you can get that deal, I really highly suggest it, just so you can have it for, for future enjoyment. And never have to worry about, uh, trying to find copies of it, because I'm sure these cop well, actually I was going to say, I'm sure with all the hype that copies are going to sell out, but probably not, because they're, I'm sure they're into like, fourth and fifth printings right now, so, because of all the Hot Topic fandom, which has been fucking ridiculous. Which I absolutely hate. Uh, yeah, on a, on a side note, I hate when beautiful things like Death Note and awesome like Japanese movies get whored out ridiculously by Hot Topic. I love Hot Topic, the store. I love all the shirts they have, all the cool band shirts and such. But I hate when they whore out awesome things like Death Note. It just makes me sad. Uh, it's awesome to have t-shirts like in stores so I don't have to order them online. But still, the fact that it's been whored out and like 12-year-olds are wearing it, are wearing t-shirts of, t-shirts of L and not even knowing who the fuck he is, or what he's doing, or wearing a Ryuk t-shirt, and not understanding the awesome and uh, hilarious character that Ryuk actually is, and how smart he is, and all that stuff, and how silly he is. Uh, it kind of makes me sad. It hurts my heart. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes, the Death Note box set. Oh, God. Death Note box set. Uh, pick it up, and hope you enjoyed this little review. See you next time. NTDG signing off.